the difficulty is we're trying to enter into a person's mind and that mind itself is already imprisoned. And we're trying to explain to an imprisoned mind a kind of thinking that's foreign to that mind. So you watch Jesus and, and he would say, you know, one of my favorite teachings that he did is throughout the, the Sermon on the Mount, he'd say, you've heard it said, but I say to you. And again and again, he'd kind of repeat that pattern. You've heard this, but I say this. You've heard this, but I say that. And um, what you see is that Jesus is always after addressing an old way of thinking in order to bring about a new way of thinking. And yet somehow, because we have that old way of thinking, we think about getting people to improve their behavior, to stop doing bad things and to start doing good things. But Jesus seemed more, con more concerned with helping people move from, you've heard this said, but I say this. And he was always making the shift from, you've heard this rule, but I want to tell you about the nature of reality. You've heard what the law says, but I want to tell you how God designed things to work. You've heard that it said, don't kill people, but you need to understand, you have to love. It's not just about the limit on what you shouldn't do, but it's about the mechanism on the inside that allows us to do the opposite of what the law is limiting. And so I began to see that Jesus was trying to do two things at one time. One, he's trying to address an old mindset and put it to rest. But he's got to do that in order to introduce the new mindset, which is about recognizing the power and presence of the kingdom to transform a person on the inside. Once they're changed on the inside, the law is fulfilled, not by their effort, but by the presence of God working through them. The law is naturally fulfilled in their, in their choices and actions.